Hey Geek Tech Industry fans, this is Zlot coming at you with another new series of Empyrean Galactic Survival. Today, Alpha 7 went public, so it is no longer in the experimental branch and it is public. I have updated our server and got tested all that, so I've been doing that the past uh, good week or so. Uh, rebuilding some play fields that were gimped and introducing some new stuff and I also changed the entire theme of our server. I kept a lot of my own custom content that I had from before and it's a little it's going to be a little bit nostalgic because it's going to look like the old stuff but it still functions and it's still deadly and it's still fun so I'm keeping it but I've also added some new content that's been updated and of course now I've switched from the Defender vs. Invader to default multiplayer and you can see here I just fired it up a minute ago nobody's logged into it I'm going to be the first one to log into my server I got a pretty good ping rate to it so let's go this is exciting So I, I did a bit of a play test last night and everything seemed to be working. So I just erased my, my uh, save file, shut down the server so that I could like fire it up and be ready for you guys right now. Okay, we have four new starting plan, or sorry, two new starting planets in the, the choosing now. They actually added a couple starting planets to the multiplayer scenario, apparently not the single player. I haven't checked that, but that's, um, from their notes. So we still have Akua. And uh, I don't think I'm going to do Akua. I already did that in a, so a single player series that uh, you've already seen. So, uh, and that was my Alpha 7 experimental series. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of the new ones. It looks just, so Taladar is just like, is just like Akua apparently. It's, there's not really much difference. Tell her so. Okay, so it has a lot of radiation. Hmm. Interesting. Omicron. Uh, I've been to Omicron before. It's probably not. I, I've also been in the Alpha 7 experimental one, so I know what it looks like, the new one. And you know what? There's a snow planet. I'm not sure if I really want to do snow planet. It's. And it's supposed to be hard, but they don't know if it's actually balanced yet. Uh, well, I guess it would be balanced. I'm not sure how much it's been play tested, right? So I could I could do that, I guess. I'm just for you guys. I want you guys to have a better visual experience. And so I'm thinking the Akua twin, maybe Taladar, and we'll see how that is. The the POIs on it are different I, because I did look at the YAML and I made sure that it was going to be compatible with our theme. And I, of course, I added it, had to add in our uh, our own starting gear loadout to it. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do Talador. Talador? Talodar? Tal Talador? Talador. <laughs> I think it's pronounced that. So here we go. Exciting, crashing down on the server in public release of Alpha 7. Be a virgin server, it just fired up. So critters, I'll be creating the play fields as, as I load them because I'll be the first one. So, okay, so you start in this destroyed facility. Let, just gotta let my game catch up a bit there, okay. So here we go. We start in this destroyed facility. It's got a admin core um, and other faction, other faction. You can't really access anything. Wow. So, so really this is just for looks, I guess. Okay. What's this? Is this a, no, it's so really, yeah, this, uh, this place is just for looks. Okay. No exits. The only thing is this arrow pointing to, it looks like a teleport pad. Yep. 
uh, destroyed. So teleport to deployment destroyed area. So let's go here and we're teleporting. So it's a little bit of uh, um, getting a little bit railroaded. Not really. I mean, <laughs> just stepping through a teleporter is not that much getting railroaded. Trust me. This game wouldn't possibly be able to railroad you. I don't think. Unless you made a scenario like that. So, okay. Personal cargo box. Not much. Meh. We start with actually pretty decent loadout. And uh, this should get us what we need up and running pretty quick. Got a motorbike construction kit. So let's just grab this gear. And I don't think I can access anything else. No, 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 no. Not even, not even the scanners. Wow. What about, oh, oh, I can access a repair station. Oh, good to know, good to know. Cause they're not easy to make anymore. They're not like, like easy at all. You need like Zascosium so it's, it's, yeah, Zascosium alloy, I think. So you need a restroom. You need a whole bunch of a restroom and Zascosium to make one. That's all I know. Uh, okay, so we teleported, and then what do we do? So we grab our gear, and then what? Then we teleport again? Okay. Because uh, there's, we, oh, wait, can we, oh, we can access these. Let's just look in here really quick. Okay, so we got armor lockers available to us. I could put my Evo boost on, I guess. Uh, I don't think I need to. Minus 25 to 60. I'll just hold off on that for right now. Armor locker. Okay, I think we have dawdled here way too long. I'm eating up precious moments. Let's teleport again. Oh, there's an iron deposit right there and a promethium deposit and another promethium deposit. Healthy size ones too. So I'm okay. We can, can we actually access this stuff? Medic station. Okay, good. So we have, we have a place we can come to heal. Can we actually already full? Oh, well, it looks like I might be able to grab free oxygen. And this is kind of freaky looking. All these broken. Let's turn my light on. That way we can actually see the getting a little bit snow blind without my light there. Okay, so we've got lots of broken blocks. Look at this place. It's it's freaking massive. It looks like it's semi-destroyed. With lots of broken blocks. So what's what's up with this? Whoa! Fall to your death. Isn't that interesting? Well, if I, and then there's, okay, so I could still get out, kind of, maybe not. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to jump down. There's, there's an arrow going here. I, I don't see a way to get out. I might have to do some funky jumping and stuff, and I'm really not good at that. You know what? Let's just take the easy way out, I think. I think this is it. Let's see. And ooh, uh, let's let's get our weapons loaded here. Get my pulse rifle. So that's one of the things that our loadout has is a pulse rifle pulse rifle to start because this is such a hard setting that you can't survive without it to start. It's as soon as the second day hits, you're dead if you don't have any sort of decent weapon. Okay, uh, anyway, let's just do that. Let's put our survival constructor in there. Or oh, you know what? Let's get the pistol in there and then the drill. Move it over there. Okay, good enough. Good enough for now. Let's, oh, well, I guess I should put med kit there and antidote. We can even do purify water for the stamina boost if we need it. Uh, but it's also good for cooling you down. Oh, it's effective against bad trip now. Oh, right. I think I read that in one of the notes that that, that purify water. Now, uh, you don't have to drink from the toilet anymore. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I guess... 
that's it. There's not really much for us here. We can heal, we can get oxygen, we can swap out our boosts, and we can repair our items. And we might be able to spawn. Oh, we you know what? I could probably jump up there and it's probably big enough to potentially spawn a small HV or SV or something up there and then ride the rails out. Huh. Okay. Because well also what they what they did in late release candidate was introduce cannot spawn factory blueprints out in the wilderness. You have to spawn it on a base now. Uh, or, or a CV if you're spawning an SV or HV. So you got to spawn it on a base or SV, HV on a CV. So that kind of sucks because CVs now you got to build a big, huge platform depending on the size of the CV that you're. So it could be out in space or something, but you got to build a big, huge one to be bigger. So, okay, destroyed facility. It's an admin thing. Can't do much with it. Let's go. You know what? Let's not dawdle in a mirror. We've almost wasted an entire day. We got to start running west to keep the daylight. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start moving west, picking everything along the way. So there's critters out. There's no real baddies out yet. So we've got Promethium right here. I'm going to stop and get some of this right now, though. Uh, okay, so let's bring our drone up and then we want to switch to our drill. Oops, not, not that. We want to switch to our drill and because I have a uh, ore scanner in my inventory, I can actually see the little deposits. So I'm just going to drill down. Oh, auto reload. So I gave us 10 biofuel to start. I know to start I gave a lot of stuff, but it's because it's a hard server. It's hard mode. Everything's super hard. Requires twice, three times as many bullets to kill something. It does two, three times more damage when they hit you. So you go through way more resources and you need to have fast resources to survive. And I want hard critters especially end game i want it to be as tough as freaking possible so uh you know i want to be able to have a realistic start though too okay so what what did we just get there we got 151 off that off that one nugget that was uber i mean that's almost good enough to just move on at that i could probably give up on there but i think we got a couple of really close ones and I think we want to keep moving west. That will keep our daylight. And we can... Um, we could eventually... You know, keep the daylight. Keep the first day going as long as possible. Because again, I'll, I'll have a... I'll have a one full day grace before baddies start spawning. And what I mean by baddies is critters out in the wilderness. The stuff that wants to eat you. Predators. Other baddies have already... Okay, so that was 49 and we are now at 200 even. Let's finish there. Okay, that's good enough for now. Oh, wait, I actually saw... I saw one, a little nubbin of one sticking out. So let's just grab that really quickly there. Right when I killed my drone, I'm like, oh, a nubbin. Okay. And oh, this one is so close. I'm going to see it. It's just right there. I just, ah, oh, this is so, so hard to stop because I can just get like tons right now. But time, time is my enemy. So, uh, wow, I just picked up a <laughs> 138 one. So 338 Promethium, that's going to last me. Uh, long enough. Let's head west. So we're gonna we're gonna head over these mountains. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the iron right now because I think I need to keep the daylight going. And you know what? I'm gonna start smashing rocks on the way too. So I'm gonna switch to stone removal and I'll just stay on foot then. 
I'll just stay on foot. If I go on my motorcycle, I won't be able to smash rocks. And yeah, getting silicone off that, yeah, this is so worth it. Rocks rock. Oh, I haven't picked up any cobalt yet. Apparently they nerfed that a bit. And there's rocks in there. Is there any seaweed? Although I don't really... Uh, I don't see any seaweed. There's some bigger rocks down there, but... Eh. Silicone, that's always awesome. Crushed stone silicone. Iron, copper. That's the great thing about rocks, is it gives you a good mix. I think it's really decent yield for how much of a fuel charge you use, either a drill charge or a uh, biofuel. I think it's well worth smashing rocks for that cost. Look at that skeleton floating in the air. Huh. Is that actually like that, or is that like an oops? Did that procedurally generate into something weird? And yeah, I'm not too worried about the critters right now. As I say, they're not predators. That's a little freaky, I know, walking past them, but okay, that's just weird. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Glitchiness, that's not a good sign. Uh, motorbike ain't gonna work here, it's just too steep and rugged. I'm just gonna run. I need to reveal more. I need to reveal like a copper and silicone. I saw iron back there, but. Actually, let's look at the map really quick. Maybe I did reveal some, and I just haven't looked. I didn't see it. Nope. Two Promethium, one iron. That's a big iron, not bad. So, let's just keep going. What I hope to accomplish on my first day before I log out is get enough... Uh, well, get enough or and everything to spawn my HV, but it, but now I have to consider building a base, but it actually doesn't really cost anything to build a platform to start because I, I'm gonna get enough stone from mining, which I probably already did. And, you, and I start with a core, which I can just turn into a base starter. It doesn't take any other materials, at least it never used to. Uh, and I don't remember it actually taking any materials other than just a core to make a base starter. So, so my plan is to get as much, you know, get about another 50 to 100 of the three uh, metal types, or well, like uh, iron, copper, and sil silicone's not really metal, but um, you know what I'm saying, get, a, get like 100 ingots, more than what I got of each one, so I'd have like 200 ingots of each, and that way I'll have enough for a quick little base slab, and oh, look at that, there's a POI up there. That's a civilian POI. Okay, so let's, I think we need to go check that out. Uh, what are JIP? Let's pick these. So yeah, the the lizards, they just run away from you when they shoot, when you shoot at them. The, but it will trigger those, those uh, raptors over there, the brown raptors, will come after you if you attack other prey near them. If they, if they see you attacking prey, they attack you, including one of their own pack. If you attack one of their pack in close proximity, they all come after you. So you got to be aware of that when you're attacking raptors. Uh, don't attack them unless you are definitely going to be able to take them all on. So probably don't do it by foot if there's a pack of them because you're going to die. I'm just saying. Oh, I don't want to drink my water. I wish I had some cava beans. My motorcycle is useless in this train, so there's no point in me even pulling it out. Yeah, I've already tried the motorcycle. I just tried it last night and it's still completely useless. <laughs> so it's good in a straight line on level ground. Yay, level two, I'm Uber. 
okay, copper, there we go. There we go, on the way to the POI, okay. So I think I'm gonna have to be careful then. If there's a POI coming up, there might be, okay, come on, jump past this. There might be a bunch of drones, so we will see. And I think I've got 500 rounds. I think I will, oh, there's a drone. I think I will take it on. Mono a e mano. I want to smash these rocks too. And whoa, it's getting close. I might be able to see it soon. No, it's going in behind them. Okay, so it's it's guarding something over there. It's not really patrolling, so it's guarding something. It's probably guarding the POI. And I don't see the name of the POI. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so let's let's pop this rock. Uh, crushed on copper ore, a good chunk of copper. And so I'm going to get too close to him. No, I don't want to. Yeah, so he's definitely guarding that POI. Okay. Okay, well, that's what I thought. That's okay. Uh, if he's the only one guarding it, that's not that bad. Like I say, I've got a pulse rifle with 500 rounds, so I should be able to do him in. We'll go kill him in a sec. Got to pick my flowers. Come on. Thank you. Come, got to have me corn dogs. Now, he's way over there. What I need to do is try LOSing him before he comes after me. And so we're going to stay down low on this side. Oh, he's got a buddy, but quite a bit distance away. So his buddy is guarding something else by the look of it. Oh, copper. Lots of copper. Oh, shh. Couple of buddies that are close by. Okay. Just got to stay down below the ridge line. Uh, uh, I can't be without stamina if he pops up over the ridge and sees me. Which he just did. So it's it's game on. Oh, Jedi didn't load. He didn't see me yet. And oh, <laughs> okay, buddy. For that stupid mistake, check your sides. Check your sides. Wow, that was quite the divot. <laughs> okay, now hopefully those guys are going to be far enough away that I don't have to worry about them. And nice, let's loot him up. Still got all my stuff on me. Okay. So... Uh, what are we at? Three minutes still. So we, we followed, we went west and we, we froze time. So, uh, that's a trick you can do when you first start. If you want to keep your, come on, check out this place here. Oh yeah, lots of goodies. Uh, okay, what are we at here? Not enough. 100, I'm gonna need a lot more iron. Okay, what does my, what does my blueprint say? I want my hover box. 176 co or iron, 140 copper, and 102 silicone. So I've got enough silicone, 140 copper. So we can go get some copper. And I could probably, you know what? You know what, let's, uh. I could smash the core, I could put all, let's, you know what, I can probably, 
stay here fairly protected and multi-tool this down if I actually get enough XP. I don't know how I'm going to get XP up here. Eh. Okay. So, while my precious minutes are... Oh, look at that. It won't let me place it. Won't let me place it too close to an enemy base. Wow. So that's something different too. So let's see how close I'm going to be. Or far, I should say. Oh, quite a bit. Basically the same distance until I can start using my drone. Okay. Well, that's okay. I'll pick this up later. Let's just throw this... Oh, hang on to that. I can throw... Uh, you know what? That can... I can put that, 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 all this stuff in. Uh, I don't want to use that in there. I'll hold on to that. Hold on to that. We can put that in there. We can put that in there. That. Hold on to that. Uh, we can put that in there for now. Put that in there. Put that in there. That, that. Uh, we can get that in there. So we can start spinning up some stuff. So we'll get that going. We'll get that going. We'll get that going, and we'll get that going, and we'll put the rest of the, oh, we'll get that going. Okay, so we'll let that all spin up. In the meantime, I'm going to throw the rest of this in my factory blueprint, and try looting. We'll smash down, hopefully, uh, what level do I need for multi-tool? Let's see, I just, I hit level two. And multi-tool is level three. Damn it. Darn it. Poopy. And I'm really close. <sighs> really close. Really close. I'm thinking I need to... Um, <clears throat> I need to get that copper for sure, probably. Let's see what... Let's see what... Uh, let's send this to the factory. And we'll just start throwing our our booty in there. Oh, it gave me back sathium, neo, and cobalt. Wow! Give me back a crap ton of it. Okay. Yeah, I put my motorbike in there. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Wow, that's that's new. I didn't know it did that. So that's definitely new. Hey, buddy, where are you going? He's going AWOL. <clears throat> okay, so let's... You know what? Let's go on a picking spree, try and hit level 3, and take multi-tool. Although, you know what, if I started looting, I'd probably loot one. Because um, <laughs> that seems to be like what well, you loot all the time, right? So, right? But I do need level 3 anyway to make more ammo. So we'll pop these rocks too, because they're, they're giving me everything. They're awesome. Pop the rocks. We'll pick the flowers. And we're losing daylight. Now, I should have... Come on. I should have... Enough of the night time to do everything I need to and spawn a vehicle. Or at least go run... If I need to, I'll go run into the middle of that freaking lake. I'll go onto that island. That's what I'll do. And I'll make a platform. That sounds pretty cool. I'll go on that island over there and make a platform. That's awesome. I'm going to do that. But I need all the mats first. Because I need my hover box because I'm such a wimp. I need to uh, have a vehicle that can break LOS on, on critters while 
I mine and do other stuff with my drone, like like building bases and stuff like that. So I need this hover vehicle. It's paramount I get this up and running. Now, I'm not too much worried about the steel if I can get this uh, if I can get a multi-tool because I'll I'll be able to get enough steel out of that base to easily do what I need to. Okay, how are we on? I'm almost level three. So let's get to level three and then we'll go back there and start looting. And did I already pick all that? What all you guys? Okay, come on. And we can go dig up some copper really quick. You can see I'm gaining time as I move west. <laughs> Love that. There we go, level three. And I don't wanna I don't wanna get line of sight on another drone right now. I wanna just Crush stone, that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna need crush stone too. Not that much, but well, maybe a ton. Okay, why isn't my F key? There we go. That was weird. Oh, and you can see all the, the ore right there. Well, okay, so let's let's pop this rock. Then we're gonna spawn the drone. And I'm gonna tab in, tab out to get my radar back. It's a little trick there. Uh, that's carried through since early Alpha 6, really. And, oh, switch back to resource mining. So the Promethium was the big, the main thing. If I hadn't have found this POI, I probably, uh, I'm, I'm still taking a risk not having a multi-tool, but I have enough Promethium to make energy cells. I think you can make a multi-tool with the, with the survival constructor. And actually, you know what we can actually do, we can, we can check that right now. If I go into here, I go into my tech tree, and I look at the multi tool. You can see it has all these color codings now: yellow, green, blue, and red. If you look down here, that's the corresponding legend: survival constructor is yellow. So we can make the multi tool in the survival constructor. So that means we can make the multi tool charges too. That's huge. Uh, advanced constructor can only do multi tool too. Uh, large constructors can do T two drills. And they're going to be easier to make. They don't need Neo, but we just got a bunch anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Neo is going to be more plentiful, but we'll probably... We can check the map really quick to see what we do get as resources. Silicone, copper, promethium, and iron. Uh, nothing for anything else for depletion. The same thing. And then the... Orbit has silicone, copper, cobalt, promethium, iron. So we got to go into orbit to get the cobalt, potentially, if we don't get enough from the smashing rocks. And we can see the alien outpost is 15.4 AU. We cannot teleport there. Ningas, we can. Okay, Ningas has higher ore. So Ningas is going to be our destination once we make a... a SV that can teleport. Okay, so let's let's get get this on the road. Get the show on the road. I'm gonna have to eat some of these. Risk uh, risk some food poisoning. I do have pills on me, but and I should have grabbed. I should have stole their food, and I will do that. And I didn't smash anything, so it'll still be there. So that's good. And there we go. I'm back up to full food.
it's always a good idea to, to pick everything that you see, especially early game. Not only does it give you uh, resources, food, but it also gives you experience, which you need. And when it eventually spoils, if you don't eat it, you can turn that into biofuel, which you'll need for your drill. So pick, pick tons of food right off the bat to pick everything. Just if you see it, if you can, if you can get close enough to it, pick it. How much was that, by the way? That was 97. I mean, we got enough now, but let's just. I just want another chunk. I'm still. We're still doing pretty good on time, and we've got our silicone quota. So I'll get this one chunk here and we'll see. Whoa, 136. Oh yeah, so we're we're golden now. That's this one's really close too. Let's just pop it. And another 113. So we're we're awesome now. We just got another 346. <laughs> Whoa. That translates into 700 ingots. So let's run back. And Smash this POI. The POI didn't actually register itself on, on my map. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. So lots of these insect night things, these funky rhino rhinoceros beetle looking things. Um they're actually one of the solo missions. Uh, and the, you know what? I should be activating that crap. So let's go into our PDA. And there's the delicious green eating Akua. You can see from here, it says collect Akua bears, collect corn dog, collect honey, collect. So let's actually turn that on. So we're going to go back to the main uh, mission and activate it. And now you can see we, we have in our right hand portion of the screen we have what we need to collect and it'll automatically check those boxes off as we collect the items so let's loot and a multi-charge that's that'll come in handy And another multi-charge and some biofuel. Excellent, excellent. And some cobalt. Some more cobalt. Oops. Okay, so let's... Um, I guess we're just going to hold this on us for now. Can we... Yeah, I can always run back and put it in there and get it going I guess but right now we still got some room let's just keep going let's just keep going uh, I'm gonna get the food later I'm not hungry right now and so basically I'm just going to grab the box here and get a boost for it okay well too bad I was hoping for armor I'm not gonna grab the food of the fridge right now uh, I'll do that just before I smash the core I want to go grab everything I can and put it in my survival constructor really quick. And then it's going to be a real rushed smash and grab for the multi-tooling. Uh, oops, was there one there? No, nope, just the toilet. Oops, yeah, let's drill it. Drill the toilet. Okay. And I know there's stuff in here. I might as well grab it because it's health stuff. Okay. Oh, that reminds me in the other bathrooms there would be too, but I'll, I'll grab those when I grab the food. I just want to get the stuff that I can actually put into. I know there's nothing in there. So we're just going to go immediately here and grab this boost. Okay, there's nothing else there. Uh, and we'll grab the stuff over here in these boxes. And there we go. A multi-tool. What did I tell you? We don't even have to make one now. We just have one. 
and we got a bunch of charges too, and another multi-tool, which is every multi-tool you get comes pre-charged with one charge, and now we've got three charges from looting. And good, all the stuff we can throw in the constructor, and the and another multi-tool. See what I tell you? It's almost like they're it's almost like they're trolling you with multi-tools. And awesome, some Sascozy more or uh, Arrest or more, but it's only one, so you can't actually smelt it yet. And all this stuff counts. All it counts right now is critical. We're just gonna grab it all. It all matters. Then as soon as I run out of room, I'll go into my And okay, now we're running into room problems. What's in the last one? And okay, so now what we do is we go back into our blueprint and we just start pushing the stuff into there. So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put that in there. That gave us back a whole bunch of cobalt because uh, it only needed the iron and silicone and stuff from that. We'll put that in there. That comes for silicone. We'll actually, hmm. Do we put the multi-tool in? Because I have one. Uh, the rest is ore. And although that, okay, so let's we'll put half of that in right now. We'll put half of that in right now. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna multi-tool. I probably shouldn't be putting these ingots in. I really probably shouldn't be. So I'm gonna stop there because I need to go multi-tool stuff. So, I need the space. We got eight and a half minutes, or eight and a half hours of server time, which I don't know, is 20 minutes or something, maybe, I don't know. Yay, I successfully completed collecting core dogs. Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff there, so I'm just gonna put this all back in for now. And that gives us a really tidy little amount for everything that's really good that's going to get us totally going here. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so let's quit ogling it. Get it just, I'm just going to put it, everything I can in here for now. I don't care if it goes bad. Uh, oh, some more stuff to go into the factory. Excellent. Goes in there. There. We'll put that in there too because we can't actually use it yet. Put that in there, that in there, that in there. Uh, we can actually, we do have a multi tool. If I throw this one into the factory, that still gives us three charges plus what's in there. Okay, so let's do that. We open up the factory, go to the blueprints, put the computer in motors. Wow, we're getting close now because I put a bunch of those ingots in. You can see it contributes too. So that's good. It's good, okay. So let's quickly, uh, well, that's looting it for the most part, the non-perishables. Now we'll go loot the perishables. And sadly, probably a bunch of the perishables, they're just gonna spoil, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, those will take a while to spoil. That's cool. And we get these goodies here. Good. We get the injections. Those are good for parasites. And then what's this guy going to give us? Uh, some more can. Okay. Good. 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 And I already checked that. So let's just get the stuff out of the medicine cabinet or vanity, I guess you want to call it. Or they want to call it. Okay, and last abode. Okay, that's it. So let's stack a bunch of the stuff that can be stacked. We'll eat some of the stuff that can be eaten. So we'll eat this. We'll pair, eat the stuff that's gonna perish the soon, the, the quickest. 19 minutes. 
that heals us a little bit too. Okay. So I think we'll keep the rest of this food on us. We have no choice. It's just going to it's going to pair 17 minutes. So we're going to start eating the the stuff we picked. Okay. Right now, what we need to do is go pop the core. We've got a multi-tool on us, and then we're going to like zap the electronic stuff, like doors. We're going to try and zap that that advanced constructor, all these things. Uh, and we're going to take a bunch of steel plates off this place too, and, and, and then I bet you we'll be fine. So, the core on this particular um, POI used to be up here you can see actually there's some nice nice uh, generators too that we can pop those should should yield some good stuff so and I can't see I can't see let's go down and oh yep yep I'm on the core I'm standing on it right now so let's just go up a bit and we'll Equip our gun. Actually, I'm going to use the pistol for this. The pistol is easier to get uh, ammo for. And it's, it, I'm going to save the big gun for critters. So this pistol will work on stuff like doors and cores. There we go. Okay. So these elevator blocks too, we could we could loot. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna equip my multi tool now that there's no core. I can't actually change it, and because it's a POI, I can't actually spawn my drone or put a core in because it's uh, multiplayer with um, with regen. So you can't actually put pop a core in. So you'll never be able to take over. A regen POI, but you can multi-tool it still if you pop the core. So what I want to do is I'm going to do a disassemble and try and get intact blocks because they will actually count for more in my factory at this point. So and you can see I'm just getting steel plate anyway, and the majority of it I'm just going to get steel plate for. But I'm going to try getting, you know. Decos give me different stuff. Lights give me different stuff. All this stuff will go in my factory, no problem. Even those guys. Wood planks, well, maybe not. But... <laughs> wood. I <laughs> got wood. <laughs> oh, you're funny. They're funny. Okay, I don't want to punch myself too far down right now. And you can see all the parts we're getting. I can easily just start throwing those in the blueprint tractory and you can see that they're, they're counting right now but we need way more and I'm not getting very high returns so I need to get off my ass and start doing this here so come on oh really I nuked the floor that's <laughs> somehow Iron ingots. Oh, it's giving me ingots. Okay. It's not actually giving... Oh, whoa. 20 steel plates. Okay. So, nice. Let's try and get the fuel out of it. Nice. 752. So, as long as you don't kill the last fuel tank and you've popped the core, you can go in and actually take all the fuel. Or at least in increments of 30. And that gave me 25. Wow. So, that just doubled my fuel cell amount that I have now. So let's just pop this guy. And the oxygen is in the other room, but what I want to do is I want to pop these generators. And you can see it's cold up here because it's pretty high elevation. So it's minus six now because I I killed the core. Oh, neodymium ingot, sathium and flux coil steel plate. So we're getting really good stuff off this. Oh, whoa! I got it as a block! Oh! <gasps> Okay, I'm saving that. I'm not using. I'm not using it in the factory. I'm actually saving that to to put in like 
Oh, I could put that in my first CD. That would work really good. Yeah. Nice. So exciting. Exciting. Okay, so the generator. And let's take the oxygen. 1,000. That's not bad. That's going to give us five bottles, I believe. Let's see. What do we got? None on us. And now five. Yep. Okay. So let's take that. And we already took all the fuel because all everything's all tied together on a POI. So one fuel tank, looting one is the same as looting them all. Okay. So let's... Come on. Give me the whole block. Yeah. Some of these I do want the whole block for, because then it's because I want it for my base. I wanna I don't wanna have to craft everything. Being able to loot stuff is really awesome. That really cuts down on the on the construction time and the uh, material costs. And some of these things are really actually quite hard to make. Like I was saying, that that the repair frickin' station. Imagine picking that up as a block right away. That's like an uber score. And you can see why I'm doing these cargo containers that take less charges from the from the multi-tool to take down and you actually get more than a steel block. Because steel blocks, see, I had to zap it more times and I only got three steel plates. So the actual, oh, is that one of those? Oh, it's a spawner of some sort of wood plank. Oh, so that was a one of these, one of those, uh, one of those cyborgs spawners. I bet. Okay, so let's go get the stuff out of here, really quick. Come on, we want a full block. So what's my? So I have got a couple of full blocks. Now let's put stuff in the here. We need. We need this, we need this, we need this, and this, and that, and that, and okay, we're maxed out, maxed out on silicone. Uh, we can do the steel plates, we're getting right up there with the steel now. Uh, okay, and still got lots of copper in the other thing too, we've got some copper back here, and we're down to six minutes spawn time. Uh, I want to keep these cargo blocks because I can add them to the HV instantly. And that's a good thing because it only comes with one, I believe. Flux coil. What is that? Can I put that in there? No. See, it doesn't contribute. And I don't want to do the large generator because it's going to break it apart. I don't want that. Deco, I don't want to use that. I can use that some other uh, on my base. Okay. So that's all I'm going to contribute with the, this stuff. Oh, what about a railing? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so come on. Cross our fingers, we get this. Uh, nope. I did get Zass and Neo out of it, but not enough to remake it. Come on. We want this as a whole block. Ah, damn it. Uh, the two things I wanted as whole blocks didn't. That's too bad. Let's take these. We're going to have to run to the water pretty quick. We're going to have to get the uh, survival constructor and run to the water pretty quick here because we're we're actually starting to run out of time. And I don't want to be stuck out here. I'm just going to grab some of this deco and stuff. I'm just going to go a little crazy here really quick and just try and get as much as possible. Because these, these deco is actually giving me a mixture of stuff. Whereas the, the steel blocks don't. Copper and gets copper in it, so I'll take those right now. That's okay. I, I've got tons of copper, so I don't really need them. I more need the steel more than anything. And that's the other thing with regen on, you can't drill near an enemy base either. So getting to some of these cores on a regen base is really tough. And that's why they don't recommend uh, putting regen on crashed vessels because you can't dig them up. 
So crash vessels is kind of a thing that you put on starter planets that are that you're going to wipe once a month or something, I guess. Because once they're once they've been ransacked, that's it. They're dead. Oh, and I'm full. Okay. So let's go back into here and we start dumping all this in. We can put the full blocks in. Doesn't contribute because it's silicone. And we get cobalt back from that. I love that. Getting cobalt back. I love oh, that contributed silicone. And we're almost we're almost up to where we need to be. Doesn't contribute. That did. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. So what do we need? We need Is this all the copper I got? No, I have a ton of copper. What am I talking about? Let's put that in there. Uh, five minute spawn. We'll put, uh, do I have the iron on me? 16, yep, that's enough now. We just need eight more copper. Okay. Okay. So eight more copper. And I'm not sure if I can carry everything now. We'll see. I'm not going to be able to carry everything. <sighs> okay, we need to stack up. I need this. <clears throat> I need this. Mm, damn it. Okay, let's eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Okay, I'm at max health. We'll just keep getting these ingots. I can't leave this stuff because I need it. I don't necessarily need that stuff. I'll need that. I need smart cement right away. I don't need wood planks right away. Okay, so what else can I swap? I don't need plastic, so I want to take my tomatoes with me. The reason I'm putting stuff in the constructor is you'll see what I'm about to do. It, um, you'll see. Oh, my, my auto miner cores. Yeah, I'm not leaving those behind. Not leaving those behind. What can I dump? What can I dump? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that one Promethean pellet. <laughs> Uh, I need the Evo. I can't leave that. I need this. So we'll get rid of the one silicone here. We'll get rid of this deco because I want a pumpkin and a durian. Durian. I'll probably be able to loot all this stuff. Um, so how much food am I leaving myself? None. Oh, crap. I need to take some. Okay, so I'm going to leave these fibers behind, these optical fibers, for some food. Oh, that, that's really crappy, though. Two, three, eh. We've got that, six, meh. Okay, so I want a durian sprout. So what should I leave? <sighs> I can make more of that with I got lots of stone don't I yeah 130 okay so let's let's dump this for a durian and do I have fiber no and I can pick more corn uh, I can put this in the oh here let's just go like this we'll go like this and god we got two minutes left or two, two hours, which is not really two hours. <laughs> okay, so let's pop some more stuff in here. We need copper, eight copper. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start production. And now I can go... Uh, oh, I can't do anything. You know what, let's just... Can I, can I put this in here anyway still? No. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm going to be dropping a bunch of stuff. I want these sprouts. 
I want the fuel, obviously. That would be ridiculous. Uh, so I've got one, two, I've got my three canned veggie sprouts. I'm going to give up the rest. Oh, plant fiber is very necessary. Shite. Let's get rid of, um, because that'll make two, that'll make one, I can make a grow plot and some fiber with that, so. <clears throat> dilemma. Inventory dilemma. I can pick more later. You know what? We don't need the magnesium right now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up. Oh, right. Uh, let's... <sighs> Horrible, horrible as this may sound, but I need the water least out of everything here. Okay, I just needed one spot. And you can see it tidally left everything behind, and I'm just going to run for it. We've got a minute and a half. I'll pick what I can on the way. And I know the water would have helped me with running. There's the, uh, there's the guard over there. <laughs> Looks like he's trying to contemplate life. And we're losing time really fast because we're going against time now. So we could get, get stuck out in the open here. This could get really bad. We are going to be stuck out in the open. In a forested area, we're going to get attacked. I need all my stamina. So I need to slow down. And get my stamina back. Because I'm going to be sprinting the rest of the way to the water. Guaranteed. Any second they're going to start spawning on me. Any second, critters are going to come out, and it's going to be those frickin' insect dudes, and they're going to poison me. And I'm not going to, not going to waste my stamina yet. I'm not going to waste my stamina yet. And any second now, I'm going to be attacked. I'm going to make it to the water though. I'm going to make it to the water. Yeah. Oh, but is that a plant dude over there? So those little plant dudes, they're aggressive too. Okay. We're in the water with all of our stuff. Our survival constructor, we've got a drill. We've got biofuel. We've got an HV spinning up in the factory right now. So that's huge. And what I need to do now is find the deepest part of the lake. Or, you know what? No, I don't need... I can just do it on an island. So let's head over to that island. Where... Sorry. Let's... um. Let's spawn that again. Which direction? That was just straight, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to that little island over there. The water should... Sorry. The water should prevent um, critters from getting to me. I don't see any seaweed. Be nice to smash some rocks on the way and get some more materials. Now, in my server, I... I just give everyone the same loadout, regardless of what world they're on. And part of that is the survival uh, oxygen generator. So you can generate oxygen anywhere. And let me just make sure I'm heading the right direction. Yep. Wow, it's way off. Why does it look like I'm going uphill when it's still really deep in the water okay so let's swim faster i'm gonna get rid of my weapon by unequipping everything by selecting o 
and then I'm going to actually swim faster with same thing by by sprinting you just hold down the shift and W at the same time and you'll sprint forward so the movement keys are typ typical to a lot of games right now W A S D are your movement keys Okay, so my blueprint's ready to go. But what they did is, if you notice, I'll, I'll even try and do it. Why not? Um, so you can't spawn it anymore out in the wild. See that? It, no matter what, I can't spawn it. I, I used to be able to spawn this underwater, but you can't anymore. So, yeah, really, that sucks. It really sucks. Oh well. But I see where they're moving towards a a more logical reason why you can spawn stuff is because it's actually special facilities that you need to be at construction facilities, so to speak. So I think what they want to do right now is just get us used to placing are spawned items on a platform of some sort. Okay, so let's select our... Is there actually seaweed down there? No, I don't think so. Okay, so let's do our stone removal. <clears throat> Didn't look like I got anything for that. We're, yeah, we're moving towards it. So we're heading up in onto the island now and we'll just keep smashing these rocks on the way every little bit helps every little bit helps Okay, and it was good that I looted that uh, biofuel and stuff right off the bat too. So that's that's pretty awesome. Okay, so where's this island? Oh, over there, right? Yeah. Okay. So I just want to go get set up so that I can get my my stuff spinning up here. And really, a little island is as good a place as any to uh, set up a base. I'm just a little... I don't really like that it's got mountains really close to one side of it, because if the drones come down through here, I'm not going to shoot at them until they're really close to my base. So that could be an issue. I can mitigate that by making really tall tower for the cannons to sit on a bit. It'll mitigate it a bit. Okay, we're we're getting there. Let's uh, equip our gun just in case that this island has a spawn on it. And it has a little dude spawn. That's not so bad. One of them. But it's big enough to spawn critters on. Okay, so it's got rocks in there. Okay. I've also got a lot of the texture and everything turned right down. It would look better. I just need it to be smooth for you guys. I think it would be better to be smooth than all choppy and once in a while getting seeing what you're actually doing because it's so freaking choppy it really seven alpha seven really ate up the resources on my machine and i don't have a slug for a machine so i can run it at high but it's a little choppy when i'm recording at the same time so 
So I'm just going to, I'm running it on fast and it's pretty smooth. Well, guys, I think what I'm going to do right here is I am going to set up my constructor and claim this island. And actually, I'm going to set up my constructor down here, I think. Easier to get to from the water if I need to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll actually put it right in the water. Yeah. And then... Uh, I could do my O2, I guess, too, and just put a little bit of power into it because I don't really need a lot of O2 right now. Not these single bottles. I'm not going to be swimming around a lot, so, but I, I will need a little bit. So let's, let's see how many bottles that's going to give us. We'll put in two and that's good enough. So the rest of this is going to go into here and I'm just going to pretty much plug everything in and all this in, get all this in because what I want to do right now, get all this in, I'll hold on to that and yeah, okay. So oh, put that in. I don't need that right now. We'll hold on to that. We'll hold on to this. We'll hold on to our food. We'll eat some more really quick. Okay. And oh, let's put that away. So now what I want to do is I want to prep my base items. So I'm going to go into my... Uh, building blocks and I'm going to construct my base starter out of my core that I have. So it doesn't, that's all it requires is a core. So I'm going to make the base starter. And then I've got a bunch of stone dust already. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm also going to whip up some concrete. So we'll take, do, I don't know, 20 of those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to need like a hundred of those and then we'll yeah I should have done the reverse derp a derp it's okay now I can actually I'll do one two hundred of those and then we'll do one two hundred concrete blocks Okay, guys. Well, you know what? I'm going to let this all spin up and I will off camera. You know what? Yeah, off camera, I'll put the base starter down and build a platform out for me to spawn my, a big enough of a bottom to it to, to spawn my HV on and maybe create some walls around it to give me some LOS uh, and some protection against when the drones come and start attacking me which I think will be as soon as I put a generator down. I don't think putting the starter triggers it. I think I think actually putting a generator down starter triggers it. So, so I guess what I also can do is I can queue up Let's go into my tech tree and unlock. We're going to unlock the multi-tool so I can make charges for it. I've got an ore scanner. I'm not going to worry about that stuff. We need to unlock the assault rifle so that I can make 5.8 mil ammo. Or uh, what, do they, what do they call it now? Projectile rifle rounds. So... I can shoot my pulse rifle more. Uh, portable work, I don't need that. The miscellaneous cargo box. Actually, oxygen generator is pretty good. That leads to small ammo box, which I'm going to need. And then base, eight points. We're going to do the cannon. And we're going to unlock a fridge. Because we still, we already have the large constructor doors food processor, lights, small generator, clone chamber, O2 tank, and fuel tank 
unlock automatically at level one. So there we have it. We've unlocked that stuff. And now when we go into here, we can see that we can't really make much more than we could before. <laughs> we can make the oxygen generator now. Woo! Woo! So we looted in uh, a really nice generator so we don't necessarily have to make a generator right off the bat but that's really overkill for a small base although i'll probably pop that out and put you know what we'll use that we'll use that we don't need to make that so what we need is we're going to need a fuel tank electronic steel plate optical fibers and we're going to need large constructor so well, guys, I'm going to let all this stuff spin up. I'm going to queue up all the stuff. I'm going to make myself a large constructor. I'm going to make myself fuel tank. Um, and we'll have a whole bunch of concrete blocks. And I'm going to have all that ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a base platform, get some walls up. I'm not going to put anything in it until, until the next episode. So next episode i'll put the generator and i'll fire it up we'll have the the large constructor ready to go with stuff in it so that as soon as i fire up the base i can make a cannon turret and make ammo for it and and have some defenses up hopefully before the first drone shows up but i should also have i'm also going to make some more ammo for myself because oh wait i can't <gasps> no, I can't make ammo. I'll have to get my large constructor up. So I'm going to have to rely on what bullets I have to defend myself. Okay. Well, guys, if you like this episode, uh, like and subscribe. And on the next episode, I'm going to have a base sort of up. And we'll complete that base. And we'll probably have to deal with some base attacks. And we're going to spawn the HV. And it's going to be a whole lot of awesomeness. So hang around. And we're going to go check out this galaxy to see exactly what they've done. Uh, and I'll probably, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to increase the texture a little bit. Because it, it doesn't look the greatest. So I'm going to tweak that a little bit better. And as long as it doesn't get too choppy, I think we're we can live with it looking a little bit better than this. So I'll do that for next time and we can, we'll see if it's any better or not. If it's not any better, if it's too choppy, then I'll just revert back to this setting. Well guys, it was awesome. I didn't die. I am, whoops, I am only level three, but I have killed one kill and I have not died yet. And I'm getting some awesome pings. Nobody else has logged in yet. Well. I guess uh, whoever logs into Telador is going to have spawn dudes on them right away. So that could be a challenge. So I would suggest you might not want to spawn in Telador if you're going to play right away. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a good one.